let me start by saying that in 2009, December 2009, the Climate Action Network, an international non-government organisation, ranked 57 countries according to their anti-pollution efforts. Australia ranked equal worst, along with Canada, Kazakhstan and Saudi Arabia. And actually, I've often said Australia is in fact the Saudi Arabia of coal. Uh, another recent comparison of uh, international climate policies found that Australia is doing less uh, than most of its major trading partners, including the US and Japan, to encourage a shift to cleaner energy supply. Australia does have a 20% renewable energy target. It does have a suite of policies supposedly designed to bring down carbon emissions, but for political reasons, uh, it has not managed to put a price on carbon yet or to introduce an emissions trading scheme. In the meantime, when it comes to energy, Australia is one of the most coal-dependent nations in the world. The World Coal Association proudly asserts that 70%, 77% of Australia's electricity comes from coal. In that, we rank behind South Africa, Poland and China, uh, which despite huge efforts on the renewable front, still gets 79% of its electricity from coal. Recent data shows that electricity generation produces more than a third of Australia's greenhouse emissions. 97% of that comes from 24 coal-fired power stations and we're currently planning to build 12 more. So you just have to do the mathematics really. How do you deal then with the inevitable consequences of this? Will clean coal save the day? Can the actions of individual corporations or organisations like the STC or indeed of individual people make a big difference? Well, to answer some of these questions today, we've convened what I would like to describe, given our surroundings, as a kitchen cabinet. <laughs> um, we have the Honourable Bob Carr, longest serving Premier of uh, New South Wales, and now writer, consultant and passionate defender of the environment. We have Sam Mostyn, who's a company director, climate change, sustainability strat strategist, member of the STC board and president of the Australian Museum Trust. Dr. Zhenrong Shu, who's the founder Chairman and Chief Executive of SunTech Power. He's responsible in large part for the new solar technology above us today. Uh, he's a man sometimes referred to in the media as the Sun King. <laughs> we have Graham Bradley over on the other end. He's the Chair of the Business Council of Australia. We've got Paul Myers next to him. He's an energy efficiency expert with Energy Australia. We've got Matthew Wright. Matthew is the Executive Director of Beyond Zero Emissions. He has a plan for Australia to reach 100% renewable energy by 2020. We'll find out in a little while whether our panel thinks that can really be done. But let's start with the reason we're sitting here on the stage of the Sydney Theatre Company.